Hey guys, what's up? It is Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle, and today what I'm gonna do is show you guys how to make your own healthy personal pizza. Now obviously, uh, remember, you can customize it. You can add peppers, mushrooms, onions, whatever you want. Feel free, I'm just showing you guys uh, just a basic idea. Now if you've watched uh, my videos lately, you've noticed I've been using a lot of whole wheat pitas lately, and these are great. I've done a lot of good videos with them, I think. And what I'm gonna do today is actually use one of those for the crust. Now, before I started filming this video, what I did was I brushed a little bit of olive oil on top of this pita bread. So now for the sauce. What we're gonna use today is a little all natural tomato paste. And really all this is is just tomato pulp. Now you could buy this canned or you could make it yourself and blend up tomatoes, but it's really just easier to buy it canned considering the only thing in it is tomato pulp. And now what we're gonna do is take a couple tablespoons of the tomato pulp. Remember, however much you want because I don't know how much sauce you like, so I'm just gonna do however much I like. And then you're just going to spread that around your pita bread. So now that I added the sauce and spread it around, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of basil and oregano on top of it. And both of these spices really just give it a nice flavor and it's just kind of personal preference. Uh, definitely try them out though. And now that we have the seasonings and the sauce and the olive oil all onto the pita bread, what we're gonna do is add toppings. Now this is completely optional. Whatever you wanna add, feel free to add it. But today, what I have here is a little bit of steamed spinach. So I'm gonna add that on top of my pizza today. And then for the cheese, uh, feel free to use whatever kind of cheese you want, but today, um, low fat or fat free is fine. I happen to have fat free mozzarella cheese. It's just cheese that's been made with skim milk. Um, I've been over this before in a lot of my other videos and sprinkle that right on top. So now this pizza is ready to go into the oven and today what I'm gonna do is bake it on 400 degrees for around 10 minutes or just until the cheese melts. Obviously you don't want the cheese to burn. So I will see you guys when this is done. All right, so here we are 10 minutes later and as you guys can see, the pizza is completely cooked and it's nice and crispy. And that right there is your own personal pizza. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And if you like the video, uh, check out my blog down below for more recipes like this one. But have a great day guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.